Good day everyone. Welcome to another uh, diecast video. Uh, in this video, we're going to uh, crack open the uh, Hot Wheels um, Japan Historics, uh, the obviously series two of it. It's a card there. Car culture. Okay, so we'll do them in order. It's a five car set. Most. Most of you would have already seen these uh, open and out. Um, but yeah, this is my turn now, so I'm going to crack these open. So we'll start with the uh, Datsun Bluebird 510. There we go. These things are fantastic. Awesome castings. Absolutely love them. So that's the uh, that's a Bluebird five ten. Over here in Australia, there are a uh, four door or the Datsun 1600 oh yeah I had one I had a brown a brown Datsun 1600 which is a 1.6 litre four door version of the uh, yeah the 510 there it was uh, yeah a bloody awesome car it was So yeah, definitely like that one. Yeah, but these are good. Plenty of detail in these ones. I'll let that spin around a couple of times and then I'll, uh, I'll do the next one. Now, unfortunately, all these uh, 510s are uh, getting bloody expensive now. Um, I don't have many of them. I think, I think this might be the... Second, second or third one I've got or something, but uh, I just kind of refuse to pay the price that uh, people are asking for them. You know, it's uh, it's a bit much. You know, forty, fifty dollars or something for one of these bloody things. It ain't worth it. So, uh, you know, I've got plenty of other stuff to collect. So that's what I do, and I just wait my turn, and, uh, you know, lucky enough, these things come out of the shop, it's your normal, whatever, seven or eight bucks each. So I grab it then. But I would like some of the older ones, the older castings, but uh, this is what i got for now. I think that's pretty good. So we'll, uh, we'll get on to the next one. Which is the uh, the Mazda RX three? There we go. That's the Mazda, the uh, Mazda RX three. It was uh, two of five. This was. Hot Wheels Car Culture, Japan Historics, Series 2, so it's a five car set this, I do have, um, I do have another set of these, which is something I don't normally do, um, I, uh, yeah, not sure, not sure what I'm actually going to do, whether I'll display them on the, on the wall or, or what, I don't know yet. I did get the other set, but I'm not really sure why, because I don't necessarily collect two or three lots of them, like some people. Um, you know, unless it's a movie car or something, I'll... I'll get two lots, I'll display one, you know, carded, 
that way people that don't know much about it can look at the card and go, oh yeah, that was from that movie. But uh, things like this, you know, just Japan Historics, it's just got a picture of the car and the card, and, and that's about it. So it may as well, you know, be opened and be on display. So I really don't know what what I'll do. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll work that one out. But at the moment, I've got two sets, so that's that. All right, well, that was the Mazda in uh, orange. It's got a roll cage in there and everything. Really good details. Awesome casting. All right, next up we'll do uh, number three of five, which is the Nissan Fair Lady Z. Strange. This, every other car, well, this one's the first one to have the extra plastic uh, on the inside of it to stop it rubbing on the cardboard. Now, I don't know why that one had it, and the rest so far don't. Not sure. Uh, but that was the Nissan Fair Lady Z. It's in a light, sort of yellow, lemonish coloured yellow. But yeah, it looks good. They've done a good job on the wheels and tyres and these things. Excellent. I don't like the uh, the axles, the way that they're um, sort of flat on the end and stick out a fair bit. I just, I'm not a fan of that. But the wheel and tyre combo look great. But I noticed the axle, same as on the, what was it, cargo haulers or something like that. The other ones, um, cargo carriers, I think. The same thing, the axles just don't look good at the ends. Okay, next up we'll do uh, number four of five, which is a Nissan, Nissan Laurel. the colour on this one. The green. If you watch my videos you know I like the green but this is awesome. I like that green. So that's the uh, Nissan Laurel uh, 2000 SGX. Which was four of five of the uh, Hot Wheels Japan Historics. Once again, an awesome casting, plenty of details, I like the front end on this. Just having a drink of milk. Love me milk. Alright, we'll get on to the next one, which is a Nissan Skyline C210. This was 5 of 5. Nissan Skyline C210. It's 5 of 5. It's in purple. It's by a white. White or cre uh, sort of a yeah, creamy coloured interior. Awesome details again. Finally, all Hot Wheels cars were like this. course they wouldn't be two dollars but uh, it definitely made for an awesome uh, awesome display
That looks real good there. Definitely like it. Good set. I uh, wish I had the uh, first set, but uh, I think I'll just sit and wait until it, um, until I can pretty much get it for a bargain price, and then I'll uh, I'll get it. But at the moment, I'm not I'm not too worried about it. There's still plenty of other stuff to collect. Absolutely heaps to collect. So there we go. That was that, the Japan Historics from Hot Wheels. It's a five car set. And they all look great. Absolutely fantastic. Alright, well that's that video done. I'll uh, try and get a couple more videos done. I uh, uploaded a couple today, uh, which is the uh, 11th of the 5th, 2018. Alrighty. See you all later.